Good morning, Clan Gatot, Clan Goward, to Hay on Y. So this is going to be about 19 miles, I think, and the first four or five are going to be pretty brutal because it's a steep climb up to Hatterall Ridge. Uh, after that, it, it eases out a bit by the looks of it, but it's still climbing, 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 all the way up to about 13 miles. At which point I'll be at the highest point on the Offers Dyke Path, 703 metres. Um, it's a beautiful morning, the sun is shining, it's going to get quite hot I think. It is quarter past eight, so I've just had my breakfast in the Hunter's Moon. And I'm now making tracks. I'm just having a quick chat as I'm dropping down because then I go up again. And I think from there I continue to go up. Um, the poles are at the ready today. They've been tucked in the side of my pack so far and I've not used them, but they're ready and they're going to be used shortly. Um, my legs are feeling all right. My left calf is a little bit taut this morning. Um, I don't know why that is. And this is certainly going to test it, I think, climbing up today. But um, hopefully it'll be all right. The poles are out. I'm sure it'll be better again when I get round to the left of here and past this tree. But that is Hatterall Ridge. That is where we're heading. Here we go then, this should give us some views. So I don't exactly know how the path goes, where it goes from here, but we climb up on top of that lot. All built into a gate. Never ever seen anything like that before. There is an easy gate to get through there, which I've taken. But yeah, a style built into a gate. Over a stream, I think we've got a railway in a second as well. Stop, look, listen. Quite a few cows in this field, it's only a little section. And you've got the electric fence. Just in case anybody doesn't know how to deal with one of these. Very simple. Voila. A quick view back to where I've just walked along the side of this fence. And now into the unknown. Can't tell if you can see that or not with the sun glaring behind it. It says Hatterall Hill, 2.8 kilometres. So that is a bit less than two miles, I think, isn't it? One and three quarter miles ish. Oh. <sighs> Hard work. That was a steep uphill bit. I can just see the trig point on top of the hill. I'm fairly certain you won't see it, but it's somewhere there, just under that cloud. But well, we've got a sign, got the old acorn of course. So as usual, pause if you'd like to have a read. Right, that's got, I don't know if you can make it out, there's an acorn on it at the top there, an arrow. It says Old Castle, I think, as I head up Hatterall Hill. I can't tell you anything about what that is or what it resembles or what it was for. I've not seen that in any book that I've read. But I'm not much higher from that little stone one that I had. That's just down there. We're not there yet, but just a breather and a chance to take in this. Wow. Hello, fella. All right, that's okay, okay, okay. Now, not at the top of 
Hatterall Hill yet and Hatterall Hill is kind of the lowest point of the top of the ridge at 536 metres and there's the trig point ahead the highest point is 703 metres on it alright yes thanks it is yeah as I head along the ridge you're a little one aren't you right according to the guidebook that name and in case you can't read it it's spelled C-W-M-Y-O-Y translates as hollow shaped like a yoke lots of wild horses across the top several different groups of them Looking back where I've just come from, we've dropped down a little bit, I'm still along the ridge but it's a lower part of the ridge but I just stopped to uh, take in the views this side, down this valley, absolutely stunning and now continuing and starting to climb again up this way and here's the views that I've had all along on this side, absolutely fantastic. continuing up this path then I've just given directions to those two down there <laughs> who are completely lost and they're heading down to the Priory so I've just pointed them in the right direction following the Beacons Way which follows that wall down there by the looks of it but I'm off back up climbing up and there's another trig point just up ahead I think more 360s because, well, why wouldn't you include this? Lots of trees. Going to be a good thing, of course, for the environment. So, a bit further to go up yet. Right. Trick point number two of the day. Done, I think about six miles, seven miles. I've got 11 left to go exactly, and I started on 18.2, so 7.2 miles. I've not actually stopped, I've, 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 I've flown through that. I've flown through that. The poles help, poles help massively. If you're not a user of poles, let's say goodbye. Um, well, it's all each to one's own, isn't it? But um, for climbs like that, absolutely. I've not used them along the ridge because it's not been too bad. It's been fairly flat. But steep climbs up, I think they're a godsend. And the steep drops down. Uh, massive help on the knees. And with my calf being a bit tight, I think they've just helped with that a little bit. So, yeah. Absolutely stunning. Not many people around up here. I've passed two couples. Uh, the first ones I didn't get the chance to speak to, that was at the last trig point. Um, so I don't know if they're doing the ODP or whether they're just doing a walk in the area. The second one's dropped down to the Abbey, so they're definitely not doing the office dike path. I can see one or two, one person I think, in the distance. But that's about it. Really peaceful, just how I like it. And I say, just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. One in. Alright, it's gruff. The views have disappeared somewhat. Uh, the ridge has kind of flattened out a bit, or, or got wider is probably a better way to say it. So yeah, I've lost um, my views for a minute. So this area that I'm walking is known as Hatterall Ridge. Uh, it's part of the Black Mountains. Um, which in turn I think are part of the Brecon Beacons, which are that way. What an absolutely beautiful day. Um, 
obviously the sun is out and it's high in the sky it is quite hot I can feel my legs a little bit tingling um, but what I'd also say and I don't know if you can pick it up on there because I've got a microphone on there's a little bit of breeze in the air it's a very very gentle breeze so it's not blowing you about or anything like that but it's just keeping you cool it's just taking the edge off that sun and I've got to be honest it is absolutely idyllic it is perfect conditions for hiking what a day I mean the clouds are way up in the sky the views have been absolutely stunning and I think there will be again further up it's just perfect a perfect day for a hike I'm now tucking into the sandwiches that I bought, not last night, the night before, in Monmouth. But needs must. Good planning, I think. There's nowhere along the route today to buy sandwiches. There was nowhere yesterday, so buying that two packets was a good idea. All right, all right. Yeah. All right. So, um, I've seen like snippets of my parents. Oh, yeah. I think that's great, to be fair, seeing a lot of young'uns out doing uh, well, I don't know if they're doing this trail, I didn't stop to talk, but uh, yeah, I think it's great to see young'uns out on the trail rather than sat in front of an Xbox or whatever else. Fair play to them. Hope they enjoy whatever they're doing and they continue to do it. It's got a little bit of a rocky section on the uh, hillside here. Not really seeing anything like this, it's all been grass and flat tracks. Uh, still easy going, don't get me wrong, but. Plenty of cairns lining the path along here. There we go. 703 metres is supposedly the highest point on the Offers Dyke path. That's where I am right now. Fairly flat summit, so the views aren't amazing. That's impressive, look. They're just making us across. <laughs> so yeah, a quick 360 then. Five miles left to go today. Just over 5.1. And then we'll be back down on lower ground and in hay on Y. Just a quickie of the viewers again as I'm dropping, as I'm about to start dropping back down. I think. Cross is still in the sky. Right, so the Offers Dyke path from this marker at the bottom goes off this way. But there's some views for you. Might be even better when I get lower down this path. Right, just admiring it one more time before we drop down. You can see the path clearly going down there. Absolutely gorgeous. So you may have noticed I've got my drone with me and probably thinking, why aren't you getting any drone footage? But when you've got that, I don't think I need it. That and there is a lot of wild sheep and wild uh, horses around and I don't want to scare them. Right, just quickly, the couple that I've passed there, they just stopped me for a chat. Very kind couple. Uh, I told them that I was doing this for my primary school raising funds um, for the Friends of John Blow School Charity, and they've donated 15 quid. One of them gave a tenner and another gave a fiver. How very kind. People that I've not met before. I told them what I was doing, they asked what I was doing, uh, and I told them I was doing it as a challenge to raise money, and they've sponsored me. So, very, very kind of them. Right, the sign says hey on Y four miles. The watch says I've only got 3.3 .3 miles. So it's one or the other. <laughs> Quick look back to the ridge over this way. 
and Hay Bluff up there. I don't know if you can quite make out the path I came down this way. I did think about going to tick off Hay Bluff and drop down the path this side. It doesn't actually look all that bad. Um, but had I done that, I wouldn't have got the views that I got down that valley. So I am glad I stuck to the actual trail and didn't um, and didn't go towards the uh, the trig point in the end. Great decision. So if you're thinking of going to that trig and you're walking the trail, I advise you not to. I advise you to go down the actual path. It's the first bit of shade I've had all day, I think, isn't it? <laughs> hey, on why down in the distance? The first choice of sweet for this journey. I ate most of them yesterday while I was sat at White Castle, to be honest. Right, so I've made it to Hay. Here's my next stamp. Okay, I'm in my room at the Furs, F-I-R-S, in Hay on Wye. Very nice. I must say the lady that greeted me, Sally, is probably the most welcoming um, host I've had yet. Just a shower, but a nice double room. Not tested out the bed yet. It's a harder bed, but um, I don't mind a bed's a bed. So, yeah, she was very welcoming. Um, made me a drink as soon as I got here. Sat outside on a bench. <laughs> a little dog bringing me the ball. Um, very friendly little dog. And, yeah, spot on so far. So I'm just going to have a shower here. It's four o'clock almost and then we'll go and have a look around hay and we'll get some tea and some cold drinks tomorrow what i do like about this one as well there's a fridge down there which she has turned on for me so i can put cold drinks in there for tomorrow which is the first place that's had a fridge or anywhere that i can keep things cold so hay and why is all about books the world's first book town Right, so that is today done. I'm in Hay on Y. Uh, I've just been down and sat by the river and had some chips from the chip shop. And I've just seen an ice cream parlour back there. Unfortunately, it's closed now. It's quarter to six at night, so it's hardly surprising, I suppose. But that's today done. Uh, just short of 19 miles walk today. Um, tomorrow's a little bit of a shorter day. It's more like 16, I think. So that should be a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, as far as today's concerned, that's done. A tough climb early on this morning to climb up on top of the uh, ridge, but once I was up there, it wasn't too bad. Lengthy, but not too bad, and the views were brilliant. So weather-wise, it's been awesome as well. There was a good breeze up on top of the ridge. Um, although very, very hot, it seems. I'm a little bit coloured. So not too bad. But uh, hope, I think tomorrow's going to be a bit more, a bit more overcast, so shouldn't be quite as bad. So all being well, I'll see you tomorrow.